Hi guys. Some of you were asking about uh, getting a walk around of the Mangster. So I thought I'd uh, take the opportunity to do that now. Um, it's snowing outside, so now is a good time. All right, let me see what I can do for you guys. So um, here's our um, Mangster SS number 165. It's, um, it's a sequential number for a regular Mangster, so it doesn't have its own uh, numbering. I think it's a one of one or one of two. I'm told there's a, another, another one that's a blend. Um, so the only difference between uh, this Mangster and uh, a regular Mangster is uh, the hood, the cowl, the windshield, and the, um, I assume, the top of the dash that follows the windshield. Uh, where the uh, headlights are molded in the uh, in the hood, just like the Kickout SS, and uh, give you a quick tour of uh, of what we did on this guy. So, uh, start up front. Got the uh, the hood with the uh, the cabinet latch, just like I did on the Kickout. It's a piece of uh, a cabinet latch bolted to a piece of teak that's glued on the fiberglass. In the, in the front, you can see the uh, bucket headlights, just like the uh, Kickout SS. It's just a, a regular domed headlight that's uh, bolted inside. We're running a uh, the 13 gallon aluminum tank with the uh, I think the Walbro Walbro um, fuel pump that's inside the tank. I put a uh, just a, a decal here. Uh, I think that's used to uh, for a return line or something. I'm not sure. I'm running uh, stainless hard pipes for the, uh, the inlet and the return. It's not really a return, it's the, uh, the overpressure from the pump and uh, it just flows back in the tank. For the wipers, I'm running the uh, Super Beetle wipers. It's the running, uh, where it works pretty good. It lines up pretty well. Yep. So that's the, uh, the front. It just latches there. That's never moved. Up front, uh, got the Mangster bumper and uh, some LED fog lights. For the wheels, we're running uh, Augment Wheel Company, uh, made out of Toronto. I wish uh, we could have uh, run them without the spacer. I had them custom made, but uh, turns out I had to step them out a little bit. Uh, they were rubbing on the, uh, the uh, those tubes there. Uh, the tires are uh, 225, 50, 17s. Yeah, we're due for uh, for a new set of, of rubber. That's uh, part of the plan for uh, this winter. Uh, on the inside, running the uh, Subaru Donor, the WRX 2015 uh, gauge cluster, a uh, Flaming River steering column, and I upgraded to um, the uh, cruise control arm from a, I think it's a GMC of some sort. Momo steering wheel. We're running the uh, OBP drop down pedals. I did have to uh, switch to a 5.8 bore for the clutch uh, as a master. The pedal was too stiff and by reducing the bore helped out a lot. Uh, over here, we got two uh, phone holders. They're uh, induction charge. so. Put your phone on there and they charge. I've got, uh, yeah, it's not too pretty, but it does the job. The uh, vintage air vents. And we have the two slots in the dash that I, uh, I made to help uh, keep the windshield defrosted and get some heat. And there's also a uh, heat that comes in uh, on the passenger side that's deflected uh, on the driver's side as well. The mirrors are uh, from a Razor. They're aftermarket for a Razor. Uh, they're made out of uh, some sort of uh, anodized aluminum. I really like these. They're they're much sturdier than the uh, the one that came with the kit. Uh, seats. They're out of a uh, Lotus Evora. Uh, Four hundred, I think. They uh, they fit pretty well. Um, they're pretty uh, pretty tight in there, but there's still room on either side. Yeah, you can still you know stuff a rag or something in between, and uh, they do. Uh, you do fold down so giving you uh, access to uh, to the rear seats obviously uh, leg room is non-existent or very limited 
and uh, yeah, we're running the uh, the stock um, BR, uh, P, BRP uh, PRP seats that came with the kit. Um, we're running the uh, rugged radio intercom. I just shoved it underneath the seat. I don't know if I can show it to you. It's probably too dark. Anyway, yeah, it's just shoved underneath, and uh, I very rarely have to play with it and just change the um, um, the Vox on there. A fire extinguisher on the passenger footwell. Uh, we are running the Subaru gears, and it did come with the uh, version two of the shift knob. Uh, other than that, uh, the mount down here, that's the Garmin GPS mount. Uh, we have the ambient air temperature, uh, the voltage, and a couple of USB plugs. And that's the controls for, uh, for the vintage air, for the uh, HVAC. It is uh, plumb for uh, AC, but we're not running the AC on it. Um, never uh, installed the, um, any of the plumbing for the AC. But I guess if I wanted to, I could uh, I could set that up. Um, one of the reasons we're running the uh, the OEM dash from the donor is it's um, the immobilizer is actually in the dash the chips located there. So in order to uh, get the uh, the engine to run with the stock ECU, it's paired with the uh, stock key, stock Subaru key, the immobilizer chip in the dash, and that talks to the stock ECU. Just uh, the regular Mangster roof. It is uh, mounted in the same way uh, on the inside tabs. Um, I'm running these um, these little aluminum uh, spacers that prevent the bolt from turning so that the mirror doesn't turn. The mirror is actually mounted on the pivot point of the, uh, of the dash, of the hood. Uh, hood, not the hood, the top. No regular top. Um, as far as the uh, soft canvas, um, that's custom made. We made that in the shop using my mother-in-law's sewing machine. Um, it's pretty much permanently on there unless we take the, the top off and uh, then I take the, uh, the canvas out. Otherwise, the, um, the nice thing about it is the, um, the doors, I just roll them up and stick them behind the seat here. So they're, they're, just, they're just laying there. And uh, it's actually doable, believe it or not, to uh, while I'm driving, to just unroll it and actually mount the uh, side curtains, um, you know, at a light or something, or uh, on some slower roads. And I'm able to come and just, just tie it up front there. It's just a, a piece of Velcro, Velcro strap. I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. But it's a piece of Velcro strap that wraps around the um, the front hoop. And then at the bottom, it, again, it's just a piece of Velcro that, uh, that ties to the bottom of the Velcro. And similarly, it's a piece of Velcro on the inside of the, uh, the top here. And it just uh, snaps on here. I do have a, um, a zipper here that allows me to uh, have another piece of canvas that fits in the front. So if I'm not running the hard top, and uh, we have a need to uh, to, to secure uh, secure the the um, inside compartment, we can uh, we can put the soft top on there. Coming in the rear, we are running a uh, 2015 uh, Subaru WRX motor. It's a two-liter turbo, normally asp um, uh, not not normally aspirated turbo. And um, everything on there is pretty much stock. The only thing I deleted were the TGV, uh, the chokes there on the, uh, on the intake manifold, and the EGR. There wasn't any room for me to keep that. It was a pretty tight fit. Um, that's the, uh, the fuse box, that uh, silver piece with all the relays. Um, turbos down here. Yeah. The air intake with the, uh, the map sensor located right here and then I just put a piece of aluminum shield over the uh, KNN air intake. I do have to clean it fairly regularly maybe twice a year but um, it works pretty good. 
Um, as far as the, uh, the rear is concerned, we're running the uh, Subaru Gears brakes. They're out of a um, WRX, I want to say 2006, double piston calipers with uh, just a regular discs in the back. The, uh, the wing holds the intercooler, the air to air intercooler. Um, we have our overflow tank for the radiators just at the highest point to make sure that that's uh, secure. We are running a um, bit of a oversized exhaust just for looks mostly. On the uh, passenger side, I um, mounted, or it's kind of hidden, I didn't really do it on purpose, but uh, there is a kill switch located between the, uh, the wheel and the uh, inside of the side pod. Um, that basically kills all the power. Uh, it has not been a problem with the, um, the stock ECU. We can keep the, uh, the power off and um, stock ECU doesn't seem to care. Uh, the radiators are in the side pods. They're mounted in series. So it basically comes out of the motor and into one, out the other and then back in the motor. And there is the, um, the uh, HVAC uh, heater pipes that um, comes all the way to the front into the um, the heater core. The heater core and the um, vintage air unit is actually mounted in there. Um, so it's it's a pretty tight fit, but it's it's all basically all inside the uh, the dash there. So that's basically uh, the tour of the Mangster. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me an email or comment below. And uh, I'm more than happy to give you any more details. Um, other than that, um, it's been running flawlessly. We've put in, I think, well, let me, let me bring it up here. Let me uh, turn the power on. You can see how many miles are on this thing. I'm going to turn on the, uh, turn on the kill switch. So the nice thing about uh, running the stock ECU and the stock dash is uh, it basically has the immobilizer built in. So you have that uh, immobilizer uh, icon there at the bottom of the dash, letting you know that uh, it's, uh, it's got the uh, anti-theft device. And if I press the button here, it lights up the dash, 71,000 miles. I think the, uh, the car had, I wanna say, about 16 or 17,000 miles when we got it. So we're, we're coming up on 60,000 miles on the buggy itself, and then obviously 71,000 for, uh, for the motor. The transmission, forgot to uh, add that piece. It is a five-speed Subaru Gears. It's out of a 1996, um, I wanna say Forester, but I'm not 100% sure. It is a five-speed with the, uh, the Subaru Gears kit. And uh, yeah, it's been running flawlessly. Um, basically at 120 kilometers an hour, 72 miles an hour. I'm doing uh, just, just above, uh, just shy of 3000 RPM um, in fifth gear. And uh, it's been running really, really strong. It's, uh, it's, it's perfect for, for what this car is. Yep. All right. Hope you like it. That's our Mangster number 165, Mangster SS. All right. Take care, guys.